Joel Marshall. I'm back here in my home county of Cork, that's in Southern Ireland. And today we're going to build a beautiful brick barbecue. What you've got here is your standard barbecue grill and grate. Now we're going to build two side by side because it can be a little bit small if you're feeding a lot of people. Therefore, if you're throwing a big party, fire them both up, small group, just fire up the one, you'll have the option. It's going to be 11 courses of bricks high. It's seven and a half bricks here at the back, coming out two bricks at each side, a brick and a half here in the middle. So we'll start by laying on the back wall. To lay on our first course, we lay on two corners, roughly where they're going to be. Of course, the first bed of mortar goes on freehand, so we'll do that. I'm using this stick here to give me a line, so I know exactly where everything is going. Of course, I'll use the bricky here to butter up the, the end of each brick, just like so. And we'll pop him on, that's our first corner in place. I'll now lay out the second corner here, and we'll check them for level, we'll pull our string line, and we'll lay on the bricks then in between. So to check that our corners are level, there's a couple of ways we could do this. Of course, we could use our laser level, but probably the easiest way again, I'll just get my stick here, which is a straight edge. We'll place this on top. And we'll place our level on this. And lo and behold, that's actually quite level. So I've put a good thick bed of mortar underneath each corner that if one needed to be tapped down, we'd be able to tap it down. So I'll just give them both a, a tap down. Just like so, so they're good and solid. And there it is, that's still level. I'll now pull my string line, of course using our mason's mate. And we'll pop on the bricks then in between. Quite simply, we'll set him up here at the corner. We lock the line in here first. Get it, pull the line through. We lock it on here at this end. There we are, that'll hold it. Set it on there. Okay, so that's my line stretched. We can now lay on the bricks in between. Of course, using the vertical guide to apply the vertical joints. Now each grate takes uh, three bricks in length, so this will be our dividing section here. So this brick will be coming in like this, just to cater for that. Just pop in our mortar there and we'll pop him in. Again, this edge now, we're looking to touch the string line. We'll just pop the level on him as well, actually. Just make sure he's not too far away. That's very good. Okay, and just these two now to pop in. And that'll be our back wall in place. Or at least the first course of it. As you see, I'm coming to the joining here. Now this isn't fitting in perfect. This corner needs to move back about an inch or 25 millimeters. So it's gonna set in right, but that's fine. I'll just um, need to loosen my string line. Move these back ever so slightly, just like so. Just back in like another tiny bit so we'll have even joints all the way. That's spot on now with that. We'll just uh, loosen our string line and uh, reapply the mason's mate. That's all good. We only need to do this in the first course because once you map out the first course, everything comes straight up vertically from that. Okay, we'll, we'll now lay out our side walls in the bit here in the center. But these are so short, we're not going to use the mason's mate in the line here. It'll be a case of just using our level to bring it out level. And I lay, I lay on the grate here again, of course, to check that it comes out square also. We want to make sure our grill and grate fits in after. Okay, so again, I'll just lay on the bed of mortar here freehand. Oh, 
Okay, there it is. So there's two things I want to check for. That it's level, of course. Let's use my hammer to tap this. I'll save my hand. And as you can see here, it's a little bit off level. So that's what you always do. Put a good thick bed of mortar on so you can tap it down then till it's level. You don't want to be going in after uh, trying to lift it up. So it's, uh, and that's level. Okay, so that's this wall level. It's reasonably straight. We we'll just use the level here on this. It's so short, we, we wouldn't use the uh, string line. So uh, just one other thing we want to check is that uh, this, we have a right angle here and that the grate and grill is gonna fit in perfectly after. So uh, um, you just wanna make sure it's, it's, you have a reasonable right angle so that uh, it all it fits in nicely after. We have about an inch or uh, 25 millimeter slack here movement in it anyway. So uh, that will be fine. And now lay on that, this brick. Now this brick here, this wall here in the center is only coming out a brick and a half from this point. So we already have half a brick. So it's just a full brick coming out here. Okay, we lay on this one, this one, we'll check it in with our grate to see that it's, um, that everything is square, okay. Okay, so that's our first course level all round. We now just want to check that everything is at right angles and square. We know this, this angle here is square, this one is That's it. Let's check it again at this side. That's perfect. And this wall just needs a slight tap out, which you can do with the grate, just like that. Perfect. So right, we know of our first course laid out, it's level, it's square, it's very simple now. All we got to do is bring the next 10 courses straight up in vertical alignment. Now I'll show you all the points we'll need to check, but we'll lay on a bit of mortar here first. Now the beauty is we can now use the bricky. This will ensure our joints are kept uniform and clean. So um, Now I use the same sequence on every single course for building a barbecue. It's actually a little bit tricky with the smaller walls, but if you follow this sequence you won't have a problem. We lay on this bit here first, just like so, and we'll fill that up with mortar. Now putting on this piece, again, we've only the log here at one side, so we need to keep it pressed against this wall, and I'll use my finger here just to ensure that that's in the correct position, and uh, fill it up. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this piece. 